Here we go, YouTube. We got another balloon for you. It's the Balloon Brothers, Mr. Brand, Brother Joe. Here we go. Live in the flesh. Yeah. Ready to make some stuff. Stretch. I have no idea what we're making. Mr. Joe knows though. This is an old school gem mm -hmm. that I made. I'll, like Mr. Brad will tell you, this was right when we started ballooning. We got into it. We were looking all through you. Well, let me make sure this camera's going real quick. Is that camera rolling? That camera's rolling. Yes, sir. Woo! So when we first started, we got the bug, like everybody else does. Not Corona. No, not Corona. <laughs> we did not get Chill, corona. man. Chill. Just saying. Um, but we got really excited of what we were doing. We really wanted to learn as much as we could, as fast as we could. Yeah. So we started YouTubing, Googling, seeing what we could see. And there was a gentleman, I don't know his real name, but his YouTube channel's name was Warren Ann. And this guy had some gems on there. And he had this type of human face quick mask thing that I thought was a gem piece back then. So I basically adjusted it to my liking, changing it up here and there, and I ended up coming up with some really, really clever stuff. Cool. And I'm going to show you what they are now. I won't say, you'll see in the video title, but I won't say now. Uh, you know what? I could I, say now. I know what it is. What I is, know it? What it is it? Cookie Monster. It's a Cookie Monster, Elmo, Oscar the Grouch. You can do almost anything with this. Be a, it's like a, it reminds me of the Nifty Balloons mask in the sense that it's so versatile in its base structure. You can make anything from it. So without further ado, Here let's get cracking. All right, what do we need? What we're do we gonna, need? We're going to do the easy version. We'll do two in this one. We'll do a Cookie uh, Monster, uh, uh. and Mr. Brad will do that, and then I'll do an Elmo, and we'll show you. It's the same design. And just changing up a balloon here or there gets you going. So we're going to blow both of these up about three quarters to almost all the way. Burp it, yerp it, chirp it, and derp it. There we go. So do we got two fingers to three fingers. We got small hands. And we're going to do that for both of them. Burp it, chirp it, yerp it. There we go. Woo! What do we do? What do we do? First things first, we're going to make a pinch twist in one of them. Doesn't matter, just make one pinch twist. And then do the same thing with the other one. Really? Um, I'm doing about a two finger bubble. Uh, you could do whatever size you want. We're going to use the whole balloons pretty much. So we're taking these pinch twists at the ends of our 350s. And what we're going to do is we're going to figure out how big we want the top of the mouth or the head bridge to be. So I'm gonna come out about six or seven, maybe eight fingers, and twist them both together. And then once you twist them together, go in the opposite direction to lock them. I would even go around another time, just to be sure. So you should have this right now. This is easy, I'm telling you guys, this is easy as pie. This is how we think. It's also big in person, so when you do this, I love doing these for Sesame Street parties because um, I'll do Fire. this for, for the mom, dad, and the kid, and mm -hmm. it always goes bananas. Always make always. Oscar the Grouch for the dad. Always. I promise mm -hmm. you, the whole place will be busting up. Tell them, hey, I got a special one that's just for you. It reminds me of you. And <laughs> oh, dude, you always get a laugh out of that. So what we're going to do is we're going to match our bubbles with each of the balloons to each side. So we're going to match oh, We're going to match that bubble size and then just wrap it with the pinch twist right around and sometimes I'll push the pinch twist through and pull it out the other side just for added stability and then we're going to do that for both sides so we're going to measure oh. I keep my index finger excuse me I keep my index finger in between let me see if we can do the cord that I hope so because sorry be guys funny if we didn't I got a brand new phone and I'm just trying to make sure it's uh, recording properly so we measure Try to keep them as even as possible. It doesn't really matter because they're not going to see the symmetry of these balloons from the top. They're only going to see it from the front, so they won't know. I'm going to tuck my pinch twist through just as a safety measure. You don't have to do that. If I'm in a time constraint situation, I won't tuck them through. I'll just make them, wrap them back. And then what we're going to do is we're going to basically measure from the top of the head into there. But you want to do it without actually putting it on the person. So you want to make that loop with the other pinch twist. And then you want to do the exact same thing with the other side, but make it smaller than this loop. Because this one's going to be kind of like the back of the head cradle. It's not going to sit on the back of the head. It's going to kind of coast on the back of the head. Oh, I understand what you're saying. 
So if you have enough left, sometimes you do, sometimes you don't, make another pinch twist. I have some on this, but not on this. So I'm just going to break them and then just tie them in. So here we go. We got a mouth and we got a back of the head support system. Yep. There we go. So your whole gist is you want these bubbles to have the line of the split on top. Not you want these to be flush in the front. So let me find my side balloons. Okay. Okay, here we go. For Cookie Monster, you're going to need just two eyes. Thank you. Which are two five inch rounds. You no. could use 11 inch if you don't have them. Very good. Same thing for Elmo, two five inch rounds. Just about fully inflated. Tied together. Now there's two different ways you could do these, um, and I'm going to show you both ways. And then for Elmo, I do my nose about one half, in between one third and one half the size of these. So you don't ever want it near the same size as that. A little bit smaller because you want it to contrast the eyes. Beautiful. And I'm just wrapping that in. And I'm just tying it. Okay, we're just about almost done. So now, for Elmo, what you want to do is, you want to take the orange, and you want to keep the white on top, and you want to split the orange and the white, and pull it forward. Boom, perfect, absolutely perfect. Every time, it'll sit, it's not going anywhere, and then we'll get to the eyes in one second. And for Mr. Brad, um, Take it. You can go in the middle like I did with Elmo. What do you like to do? What I like to do is, I like to split this. I like to split this bubble and carefully slide in that one, and then drag it over, and then drag this one through. And straighten them out. That's a good cookie. Because for some reason, when you put the eyes in the middle. You can put them in the middle together. Do they end up wonky? They end up sometimes wonky. And this way, this allows you to keep them centered and not have to worry about them plopping all over the place. That's a good point. That's a good point. So for the eyes for Cookie Monster and Elmo, we're going to show you two different ways. Obviously, you can draw your eyes on with Cookie. And I like to do googly eyes, which is one and, you know, two different spots on the eyes that make it look really crazy. These balloons are super fast, super easy, super fun, um, fun for the whole party. Like, I do these at the Sesame Street, uh, Sesame Street themed parties, and people go bananas and everybody wants one. Um, and like I said, they're super fast and easy, so you don't have to put any effort into thinking about it. It's literally two balloons and two rounds with, you know, a little bit of extra stuff. You know what? Amazing. I, you know what I did? No, that was perfect. You just had it. I, I, I thought it looked a little crazy. No, that, dude, that's... I like my cookie eyes to be crazy. Yeah, you gotta have that crazy. You gotta have that crazy. And sometimes we'll put a cookie after Pop it right on real quick. There we go. And then, awesome, just a quick cookie monster hat. Yes, and we could... We I'll should have, put a cookie I'll on have it. Mr. Brad make a cookie with that after I do these eyes. So I'm not doing nothing. Yep. Um, we're going to blow up a two five-inch rounds. This is I could draw my eyes to be quick, but if you have a little time and you want to be flashy, two very small five-inch rounds, and I'm talking small, small, maybe an inch each blown up. Them little eyes. I remember one time I gave this to a two-year-old, and he rocked it like he was actually Cookie Monster. Oh, yeah, I, I literally asked Mr. Brad. I've been doing this design for years. Couldn't even tell you how long, but it's been a very long time. And these have gotten me so many compliments and so many tips and so many, wow, you're the best balloon guy I've ever seen. No, not the best balloon guy I've ever seen. Best balloon guy I've ever seen. That's the truth right there, baby. And then you could just add some quick five-inch five -inch rounds that give it more depth and more realism. It's really cute. Mr. Oh. Brad, help us out with that cookie right the here. The cookie. So we're going to go for a 350 because it's a mask. Yep. And we are going to blow it up. And we tie it because if you don't tie it, the air comes out. That's right. So we make a pinch twist. Yo, I was really stuck right there. I was like, what? Four finger tail. 
pinch twist, three finger, three finger, twist it. So we got four finger tail, we got a pinch twist, we got two three finger bubbles wrapped back into that pinch twist. Now, squeeze it, soften it, because we're gonna do horrible things to it, and we take it and we wrap it around like that. Here we go. Then, if we have enough, we- I think you do stretch it. Stretch it, pull it. I think you can make it with it. I think I can. And we take that, let's just do this real quick. Pull that right to the end, get a little bubble, wrap it into that pinch twist, and here we go. Take it, wrap it around. There you go, we got a cookie. We got a cookie for the cookie. Now, of course, we're gonna draw on it. Just some chips, little choco chips. This is a hard Sharpie, I don't know what's on. Here we go, cookie. Every time I make a cookie, it's always symmetrical, so I'm, this time I'm gonna try to break. I'm trying to break that symmetry. Sometimes symmetry is good, sometimes it is like, oh, that's too much, that's not real. The guy said my cookies are symmetrical. What are you, De Niro in Casino? <laughs> Here we go, we take that cookie, wrap it into that pinch twist. And what we're gonna do is, you could take this pinch twist, pull them together, and wrap them. So he's just wrapping the blue pinch twist and the brown pinch twist from the open together to lock them together, and then he's just gonna swing that cookie around the front. There we go. And then what we'll usually do is, we'll usually make sure that the cookie's facing forward. Yes. The whole trick is to move the cookie around. So what I'm doing is maneuvering it to get down to right there to where it looks like he's eating the cookie. Nah, he's nah, nah, eating nah, nah. the cookie, yes. if you will. Okay. Okay, now what are we gonna do? Um, should we show Nasca the ground? We no? could show it, we could end the video, it's up to you. Um, what do you guys think? <laughs> uh, I think I heard, did they say end the video? And the, I think they did, all right oh guys, if God. that's what you want, that's man, we'll want. end it right that's now. That's what you want. Psych! Here we go. Oscar the Grouch, same thing. We're gonna double team this one to make it a Look, little bit go. quicker. Here we go. Oh! Merry Christmas, everybody. Here we go. Two fingers. Pinch twist. Hand it to Brian Wilson. Oh, oh, oh. Brian Wilson again. Brian Wilson, everybody. Twist it the opposite direction, the lock it. Bring it to the pinch twist, twist around. Twice to be soitin'. Oh, 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 Bring it to the pinch twist, twist it around, twice to be soitin'. Bring it to the other side to be soitin'. There you go. Bring it to the other side to be heightened. long time ago in a galaxy far far away mr he joe was, was a rapper one of the best around for this i took a mocha brown um 260, 260. mocha yeah no is it mocha no chocolate chocolate. chocolate sorry so i'm splitting these in the middle this it's like cookie monster or elmo i should say and then, now that i've got these so what I want to do is I want to stick the chocolate kind of down into the green, not necessarily coming fully out. It is, you can see it there, but just barely, right. just barely want to see it. So then what we do is we come over the top and we lock it in between. We're, we're going to be able to push these, so don't worry. So what I'm doing is just trying to get that same amount of space as I did last time. So I measured it, and then I'm just going to tuck in, just like I did the last one, just barely. Oh, that's cute. That's so cute. what I'll do for Oscar is, yes, what I'll do is usually, um, actually what I'm going to do is this. 
You gonna do some green eyes? No. Um, sometimes what'll happen is you'll get a little space in between. Ah. Uh, <laughs> what do we call that? What do we call that? We call that dead space. That's a spacer bubble or a stabilizing bubble. Stabilizing. Stabilizer. So I'm just putting this green in here just to even out the green, and then we can, we can either glue eyes on or do some good old sharpie eyes. And if you're doing big eyes, I usually start small and then get bigger because if you go too big, you can't undo it. If you go, if you start small, you can always add more. That's awesome. That's awesome. Oh wait, 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 wait. My germs. My germs. Here we go. My germs. Here this is go. the Balloon Brothers with another easy, fast, awesome tutorial for all of our friends and family in the balloon community. Yes. We love you guys. We can't wait to see you guys. As always, the often imitated but never duplicated Balloon Brothers, yes. Mr. Brad. Brother Joe. We're back. As always, keep viewing, like, share, subscribe, comment. comment. Let us know what you want to see in the future. Yes. And get ready for that thousand video. Super awesome one because we got something it's really coming. awesome it's coming. It's coming. Love you guys. Have a good one, Fairy. Thank you very much. God bless you. Good night. Woo!